Halo Sobat 100, stay with me, sit akhir ya, in 100 Institute Program. This time we are going to talk about numbers to 100,000. Nah, this section is the last section from this chapter. The section is rounding and estimation. In this section, there are five main points that we will discuss about. The first point is round to the nearest 10. Now we go straight to the example ya sobat 100. Round 42 to the nearest 10. Now we can draw the number line ya sobat 100. This is 40, 45, 50. And 42 in here. So because this is 40, this is 41, so 42 in here. Okay? Okay. Now 42 is between 40 and 50. It is nearer to 40 than to 50. So we can conclude that 42 is 40 when rounded to the nearest 10. Now 42 is approximately equal to 40. So 42 becomes 40 when we round it to the nearest 10. Okay, that's for the main point number one, yeah, Sobat 100. Now we go to the second main point. Round to the nearest 100. Now, round 223 to the nearest 100. Okay, this is the number line 223 between 200, 250, and 300. Now, 223 is here, yeah? Okay, so we can answer. 223 is between 200 and 300. It is nearer to 200 than to 300. Now, from this, we can conclude that 223 is 200 when rounded to the nearest 100. Yeah, so 223 approximately equal to 200. Okay, all done, yeah? Sobat seratus for the two main point. Now we go to the next main point. Yeah, round to the nearest thousands. Same like before, we go straight to the example. Now round seven thousand three hundred to the nearest thousands. This is the number line. Now seven thousand, seven thousand five hundred, eight thousand, seven thousand three hundred. In here, yeah. No. Seven thousand three hundred is between seven thousand and eight thousand. It is nearer to seven thousand than to eight thousand. We can conclude that seven thousand three hundred is seven thousand when rounded to the nearest ta thousands. Okay, so seven thousand three hundred becomes seven thousand. Okay, ya, sobat 100. All done. Nah, for the third main point. Now, we go to the next main point. That's about estimate sums. Okay, here is the example for you. Estimate the value of 84 plus 47, then add. Okay, for estimations, we have to round each number into tens. At first, yeah, sobat 100. Okay, so this is the answer. Now, 84 becomes 80, 47 becomes 50, so 80 plus 50 becomes 130. Means 84 plus 47 equals 130. Okay, if you want to check your answer, is it correct or not, we can check it manually, yeah, sobat 100. Nah, so 84 plus 47 equals 131 the answer 131 is close to 130 therefore it is reasonable okay all done for the fourth main point yeah sobat 100 now we go to the next main point this is the last now estimate differences okay this is the example subtract 5 137 from 945 estimate to check if your answer is reasonable okay same like before estimate sums 
So here is the answer, yeah, so seratus. Now we have to round off the number to the nearest tens at first. Okay, so 945 becomes 950. 527 becomes 540. 950 minus 540 equals 410. Means 945 minus 537 is equal to 410. If you want to check your answer, you can do it manually like this yeah so 945 minus 537 equals to 408 now the answer 408 is close to 410 therefore it is a reasonable okay understand yeah sobat seratus so we are all done okay we have talked about rounding and estimation sobat seratus if you want to know more videos about the next chapter you can click the next video see you